how you make pretty impressive, spectacular, brilliant explosions, but they're still very dangerous. So, first of all, you get a spent lighter, take it apart. So this next part you have to be very careful of. You've got to remove the cylinder, the striker, which is holding the flint in place. And below the flint is a spring. The spring pushes the flint against the striker, so it allows the sparks every time. So if you're not aware and you remove the cylinder, it's gonna shoot the uh, flint off somewhere and you'll have a hard time finding it. So once you get rid of it, I just heard it. Once you get rid of the striker, you don't need that anymore. Then you find the flint. The flint is just a little tiny thing here, as you can see. So what you do now is take the spring and stretch it out. And then you wrap it around the flint. And you don't have to use the spring either. You can use another piece of metal. But either way, you have to hold on to the flint because in order to get the explosion, going to have to heat up the flint so that it's red hot and then when you strike it against a hard surface that's when you get the explosion so as you can see the flint is now held in the spring you get another lighter heat it up till it's red hot and kaboom I'll show you okay now I'm gonna strike this inside the fireplace it's got to be struck against something hard so that the flint will burst. If you strike it against something soft, it'll just melt. Uh, just melt the surface that you strike it against. Um, now I'll be putting on safety glasses, and you can see I've got a fire extinguisher handy, as well as a handy bucket of water, just in case. Because even though it's a uh, small explosion, it's very brilliant and it'll send sparks everywhere. And it's going to definitely scorch whatever surface you strike it against. So don't strike it against people. Don't be stupid. Just strike it against something soft. Um, hopefully, if your movie calls for it, it won't be too, too close to a person. Because uh, even though the sparks, as they get smaller and get spread out, they won't burn as much. Um, the sparks that are close to the person, they will burn. Um, I've been burned by this a couple times. And uh, we've had a little fire start. Uh, that wasn't too bad, but we were all ready for it, so it was relatively safe. It's going to be pretty spectacular. Anyway, um, I will uh, get things started. Teenagers of all ages, especially grown-ups, don't be dumb when you're playing with fire or explosives.